Hello, good afternoon, you guys. This is Tony from McLeod from Gardena. Today, we're gonna show you guys step-by-step step how to remove and install a new pressure pump on this Epson Brenner 7890. So we're gonna do it step-by-step. Step. We're gonna show you guys how to remove these um, screws. If we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws, I believe. We're gonna remove them. Okay, now once they're done removing the screws, you put them in place all together so you won't lose them. And you're gonna need a flashlight to look inside or sometimes if it's dark, it's still gonna be a little bit dark. So you remove it like that. This is the pressure pump. This is what we're gonna remove today. You're gonna need your light. You can put it anywhere. To remove this pressure pump, you have three screws, one, two, and three. But first, you want to remove these lines. It's one and two. Remember always, it's always these two. It's this line, this, this is one, this is two. Always these two. There you go. Remove them as these two, one and two. I was supposed to do this first, but you know. You gotta remove them carefully. There you go. There you go. There you go. Now you just remove them. Now you remove from over here in the lines. Now you gotta do everything else, you know? Show you guys. Yeah, go around, go around, and then you guys take this one off. And there's two in the back over here. It's, it's, it's one and two. I also suggest you guys to take a picture so you guys won't forget. That's what I do. But yeah, that's the process right there. I'm gonna hold this right here for right now. Just to show you guys how to remove the pressure pump. This is the brand new one. You take this off. As you can see, it's a brand new one. Do the same process. Stick it in right here. And you screw it back on. 
screw it back on. <clears throat> oh, but you see that it doesn't have these things? We're gonna have to remove them from the other one. These little rubbers. As you can see, it doesn't have them right here, so you're gonna have to remove these. Remove these and put them over here. So then afterwards, you just screw these back on. Do it over. Hmm. Yeah, probably, yeah. 